Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff. And today guys, we are going to open up one of the coolest looking toys that has come out for the new Despicable Me 4 movie. And that is this transforming container, I guess you would call it. This transforming machine. It's an AVL training center. It will transform into that, but it's basically a transformation machine that will make AVL Jerry into a Mega Minion. So these Mega Minion pictures you've seen all over the place when you've looked up anything having to do with Despicable Me, Despicable Me 4, I'm sure. But in this video, we're gonna check this toy out. It looks awesome. It actually kind of has the shape of a little Minion, but this was just put out at my local Target this was $29.99, so one of the more expensive toys that you can find so far for Despicable Me 4, but also one of the coolest. And as you can see right on the front, it says, try me. Now, we all know that some of the fart guns and things like that for Despicable Me kind of makes me a little nervous, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Haha, <laughs> very cool. Let's see. <laughs> so already, guys, this is kind of cool. <laughs> very, very cool. All right, so let's take a little bit closer look. As you can see right there, danger, falling rocks, a surprise escape hatch, exclusive disc shooting Mega Jerry. Now, if you guys have seen my other Despicable Me videos, you'll know that I pulled this awesome Mega Minion from some of the new mystery boxes that were available. So I am really, really excited about having, you know, one of these Mega Jerry's that can shoot a disc. That should be awesome. Take a look at the back back here. You see you can load. AVL Jerry, and that happens right up here. You load him up, power up, and then activate. And then four, you have a Mega Jerry. So guys, this all looks really cool. You'll see on the side, it includes four discs, the exclusive Mega Minion Jerry, the display stand, Transformation Chamber playset, which is awesome looking. A rock and the AVL Minion Jerry. So guys, I'm really excited to get into this today. I am glad you decided to watch this video. I hope you will get something out of it as well. So we're gonna break right into this. We're gonna get the grandpa knife out. And while I'm getting the grandpa knife out, if you haven't already guys, I would love it, love it, love it. If you guys could go to wherever you have to go to subscribe to my channel. That would be super, super fun um, to have you guys join me on each and every toy opening video. If you love toys as much as I do, this is definitely the right channel for you because I love opening toys and just sharing what kind of cool features that they have so all of us can gain a little bit of knowledge from it. All right, so we took that plastic part off. Now it's still in there a good bit, so we're gonna probably have to kind of rip this front part a little bit here. It does look like it's taped, so we can, we can be a little careful with it, I guess. We'll go ahead and cut that tape on both sides. We always cut away from ourselves, and there you can see, you pull this little tray out now, maybe? Oh, there we go. It's kind of hooked in on the sides. Now, there we go. And then it does have these little twisties on them, which I really think that these are, are a really cool way of putting toys in packages rather than having just tons and tons of little twist ties everywhere. This is a very, very neat way of, of holding something in. So. As you can see, that one we twisted, it came right out. This one's a little tougher here, but I think we can get that one too. We'll get these first, we'll see if it works. All right. That one is in there tight as well. All right, guys, let me do this. Get a little better hold on that. All 
All right, now let's see. There we go. That one comes out. This one is now loose and out. And let's see, we got that one as well. So this should release the chamber. There we go. And as you can see, right there on the bottom, we're just gonna throw that right over there on the floor. We'll pick that up later. As you can see, this was the bottom, it has a nice little number three on the side. Cool looking chamber all together. That is really, really neat. Battery compartment there. Does look like it has an off and on switch. So let's test that now. Yep, that is the off button. So we're going to turn that back on. Very cool, gives you a little indication that it is on. So as you can see, as promised, we have the AVL Jerry here, a rock, and four discs. So these discs, I'm assuming, will be the ones that will shoot out of the mouth of the Mega Jerry. So we're gonna put those right there on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this on out of here just to make sure we don't have anything that we really need to pay close attention to. Just kind of has the instructions. There you go, the off and on. Everything that we've talked about before, plastic wrap, batteries, insert, power up, insert, power up, activate, and transform. So let's give that a go. So first it says we should open this up and we should put our rock in. So the rock is now in there and we're gonna power this up. All right. Well, you know what? It said to do that, to close that, then do that. But all right, so let's try that again. So let's try that again. Okay, now it says that we should insert the AVL Jerry. So let's get him out of his wrapping. We'll take a little bit closer look at him before we put him into the chamber, just in case he never comes out. <laughs> let's get a real quick peek at this AVL Jerry. All right, come on, you can do it. All right, guys, that was a little bit a more difficult opening of that little guy, but very sly look on his face. Cool little hair going there, this little suit. So we're gonna open this back up. Then we're gonna drop Jerry in there, close it. Then turn the knob to the left. All right, now it says to press down the left lever three times. One, two, three. Then press down the right lever. Whoa, now that is awesome, guys. That is really cool. Now, I'm not sure, I'm assuming that this should have probably held the Jerry, so maybe, just maybe, I did something wrong when I when I first put them in there, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give that one more try after we take a closer look at the inside of this chamber. This is awesome looking, guys. Now, I will say, this does have a sticker in the back that is loose. As you can see, the sticker was not fully attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find out if this looks like this Jerry is kind of just stuck in there. I don't know if you can remove them or not. So I might have to be very, very careful with this and see if we can just get that label where it's supposed to be. Not uncommon for something to, to be a little unstuck when you get it, but 
This one is completely loose in the back here. So I wanna make sure I get it on there as close to where I think it's supposed to be. And this looks like it's it, like it's pretty good on there right now. So now we can get a little bit better close, a little closer look. And as you can see, looks like maybe this is where the rock is supposed to tumble down and tumble out of there. There you go. Also has this little arm right here. Looks like you could have another little minion right there, perhaps. That is really, really cool. Give you guys a little closer look there. Then you've got this Mega Jerry, as we've talked about. And then on this side, it looks like maybe this. Huh, what is on, what is this side for? Let's see. Okay, so this is kind of like a time capsule. So you could put AVN Jerry in there, or AVL Jerry in there, and you could close this up. Well, then if you hit this target, it pops it open and you can save him from the time capsule. So that's a really cool, cool thing here. Let's see, launching discs. Let's see, it says here, Turn to release the lock on the bottom of the transformation playset. Okay, so that is why our Mega Jerry is still in there. So we'll go right here and we'll turn that lock and we'll take him out. And that's interesting. It does not come out so that you would be able to basically hold him in there. Oh, it did come out. So <laughs> there we go. We took care of that. Now, also back here, you see this one? So you can drop whatever you put in the top. So say I put my rock back up here. I could also release the rock right there. So this is a really fun little playset, guys. Lots of playability that I can see already. And we haven't even gotten to the Mega Jerry yet. So we're going to put that right in there for right now. And let's take a look at this Mega Jerry. Now that is pretty cool looking. This looks like maybe like the firing mechanism here. And let's see, does this Jerry come out of here? It looks like on the pictures that he would. Oh, looks like right here. Whoa, hopefully I didn't just break that and I think I did guys, uh-oh. Oh no, I don't think it's broken. I think it just pops apart there. So, this would come off of here. So I think this was just to kind of hold Jerry in there during shipping, looks like. I don't think that this is actually part of the playset. I'm gonna guess because this looks like where the little lock thing came through here. Yeah, this, I mean, it looks like you could use it if you wanted to, but I think that this is probably just a, a way of, of holding them in there. Okay, well. Here, this would have gone like this. Over the top there, perhaps. Right there. Okay, so you could put this back together. If you really wanted to keep this piece and, and use it as part of your set, again, maybe lock Jerry in place for storage, you can put this back together again. And then you just save your little lock key here and you would be able to lock it right back in place for storage if you wanted to. So we'll put that over on the side, but now let's take a look at this Jerry. This guy is massive. He is definitely a mega. Now he has a little bit of articulation with his arms here, a little bit with his legs, so that's pretty neat. But the articulation that we're most concerned with is this. Now, it looks like a tongue when you just have it like this, but we insert that, then we turn him, we press this button, and he should fire. Whoa, that had some big time firing power, guys. I mean, look at that. That is crazy how hard that fired. Let's try it again. That was a awesome, awesome firing. So right now, we know that we have this AVL Jerry, he's in the time capsule here. So basically you can shoot this. 
let's see. So it is spring loaded. So if you close this, you have to close it all the way or it has to stay open. That is another feature that I'm just discovering because I was going to turn it so we didn't just fire our, our little disc wherever. But as you can see, this looks like it could have enough power to... Whoa! And it did open the little chamber up. So that's how strong this firing disc is. So if you have little ones and you're buying this for a little one, this does fire a long, long way. I'm going to hold this behind the camera. I'm going to try to hold it back as far as I can. Maybe we'll say I'm at least three to four feet away now. And then let's see. Wow. That has some launch trajectory there, guys. So this is awesome. What a cool, cool toy. It's an exclusive in this set only. So if you want this Mega Jerry that will fire these discs, the only place you can get it is with this transformation machine. Now let's see. We're going to look again. We're going to see, does it do anything while the transformation center is open? <laughs> now it does. That's cool. This button doesn't do anything. It looks like it's the one that releases the, the chamber, perhaps. But let's try it again. Very cool. You can see him lighten up. There is a minion right there. Turn it to number two. So that is really cool. Now, I just thought of something. I'm looking at this side, and I thought this might be where a boulder would go. But let's say that we have one of our other minions that we opened up in our mystery pack. Look at this guy. This was awesome. But let's just say he's chilling out right there. You know, Jerry, who's a mega Jerry, comes along. He's got his disc in his mouth. And he thinks to himself, I don't like you standing up there. <laughs> that is really cool, guys. It basically knocks them off down the slide and out the trap door. So that is a really cool feature, guys. So, so much playability with this. You could have so much fun with this. And I just noticed taking this part off that Jerry was locked into also reveals a couple of little pegs down there. And he does have little peg holes. So if you want your Jerry just to kind of be displayed while your little transformation center is on display, check that out. He just stands in place right there, right where he needs to be. So that is an awesome, awesome thing. So guys, all in all, I'm going to tell you that I'm giving this, out of 10, I'm giving this probably a 9.5. This little set is absolutely awesome it would be cool if maybe you got like one little villain toy with it or something um to give jerry something to fire at but who knows in the movie maybe jerry's gone crazy and he's firing at other minions we're gonna have to wait and see but for right now i really wanted to tell you how much i appreciate you watching today's video and i really hope that this gave you some good information on this transformation center and that you can find it at your local walmart or target for yourself so again guys thank you so much and if you want to see more videos like this, click on a link for one of my other videos that I'm going to add in the description. And I will see you on the next opening video. Bye. Okay, guys. Second thought. The video is not actually over. So if you guys stuck around, you're going to get to see something that I just learned packing this toy away. So I was going to put all my little bits back into the transformation machine and close it up. Well, when I closed it up... As is, it knocks. So basically, this is what I did. I put everything in here. Whoops. Hold on a second. This is part of the reason that I'm showing you this. So I put Jerry in here to store him. Mega Jerry, I should say. And then I put all these little guys in the top to, for storage. Closed it down. And as I was going to close it up, this arm of the little time capsule hits Jerry, knocking him backwards, which then hits this little orange piece back here, which releases everything that's in the, in the little chamber up here. So I played with it for a couple of seconds to find out that if you put Jerry here, you could still store 
your pieces up here as such. I think you could even put these discs up here. I think they would fit. One, two, three, and four. But then what you have to do to get it to close without making everything fall is you have to open the time capsule, push this little arm past Jerry, then you can close this up nice and tight. So if you didn't want to use this again, and you could very well use this to lock Jerry into place so he doesn't move, this is a way of not having to reinstall the little foot harness thing. Now, all in all, you could use this foot harness and it would be pretty doggone easy, and we'll show you here. We'll pop that back open. We'll take Jerry out. And let's see. How hard is it to get his feet in there? Um, yeah, not that easy. Not that easy to get him back in there. So this would be the easiest solution to keep Jerry from falling backwards and triggering everything. So again, just open this up, pass Jerry, close, into place and you're done. So now guys, thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to share that with you. Give you one more tip on this awesome transformation machine. So thanks again. I'll see you on the next video.